This is going to be if you're dealing with an air sign, what do you need to know? If you're dealing with an air sign and you have a strained connection or a connection that, you know, maybe it's on hold, it's on pause, or you don't know where you stand with this person, or you really need to know what is keeping you from being with this person. What is keeping you from being with this person? Let's get into this for you. I'll never DM or solicit. So yeah, separation. I feel like this is you might be like thinking about this person. This is somebody from the past. This could be like an ex. Somebody that, you know, maybe you need to have some closure or you need to apologize or you need to ask them something or they might need to ask you something or you will have an opportunity, you know, kind of to apologize or say what you need to say. There's definitely like a thinking about the old times, like thinking about how it used to be, thinking about like old days, like the way it was, the music, the culture, the food, the snacks, the toys, like what whatever it was. Like, I feel like you might have like very significant memories with this person. Like they might be a big part of your life, who you are. They may have shaped you, molded you in some way. Um, it could be a little bit of a karmic thing where, you know, maybe you feel so unsettled because yes, now there's like this separation and there's this longing and this missing them because there's unfinished business. That's very possible. That's exactly actually what I'm getting here from this is that there's some type of unfinished business your connection still feels strong. This person might dream about you. You might dream about them. That's because the, the cords are still there. The connection is still there because it's not complete. It's not finished. So if this person were to come back into your life, this would be like, it could be just for closure or it could be to start over. Okay. There's some definite like thinking about what would it be? How could it be? I wonder how they are. I mean, they might be looking you up online. They might be looking up like pictures of you or trying to find you or trying to see how you are or talking to like old friends or old coworkers even to see or know like how are you doing, okay? There's a definite missing, like I'm missing you there. So in tarot we have, I feel like this might have really made you feel like you couldn't connect, after this connection, I feel like this person had such an effect on you, like, you know, and it's in separation. So let's just say, you know, if you're separated from this person, they had such a profound effect on you that I feel like you felt like you couldn't ever love again, or you couldn't ever love the right way again, or you couldn't ever let love in again, or you were afraid of love or afraid to be open to love, or maybe you were only half open. I do feel like you poured yourself into a lot of relationships and a lot of people that only like poured you right out. Your goodness, your niceness, your kindness, your empathy, your gentleness. I feel like if you are separated from this person, what is truly keeping you apart? I also feel like this person, Person is very afraid to put themselves like in a uh, committed or like I have to be responsible now and I can't like screw this up. So I feel like they might not be ready for that type of commitment. They might not be ready. They're afraid that they're going to mess up. They're afraid that, you know, they don't have it together enough or they have some baggage from the past that they haven't quite, you know, let go of. I also feel like they may have taken a little bit from you too much, like too much of your time, too much of your empathy. You don't want your time wasted at all. And I feel like this person doesn't really get that yet. They don't get the concept of that, like putting in energy, putting in time, putting in money, putting in patience, like all of that costs energy, no matter what. And trying to keep it all in balance is so tough. And you just might be somebody that's like an overgiver. And this person may see that or recognize that or know that. And I do feel like you were in a particular kind of situation where you might have been being taken advantage of a bit, okay? So it could be that, you know, you don't want to waste your energy. This person doesn't really know what they want 100%. I feel like they're like hot and cold a little bit. You know, I feel like there's not a lot of balance. So that could be a major issue why, you know, it's not working out. The next one I feel like is like, I do feel like if you're disconnected from this person or separated from this person, there hasn't been contact, that contact could be very possible. So whether you reach out and they're totally receptive to this, but it has to be friendly, okay? Or, or you know, you reach out to them or they reach out to you, but it's like keeping it light, keeping it friendly, checking in, like, hi, how are you? Like nothing too heavy. I feel like like seeds to be planted, if that makes any sense. Like, you know, and definitely like 
a slow growth type thing. This person is also a little bit immature. So if you're wondering why, you know, what is up? Why can't we be together? There's a lot of reasons. I also feel like they give to everybody and everybody just takes from them. They're a little bit gullible, a little bit naive. They have a little bit more in this life kind of to learn. They have to get like kind of screwed over a couple more times to get it, unfortunately. And I just feel like everything they do, they're very slow with it. They take their time. They are kind of like, you know, I have to count my steps here and I have to, you know, do everything in order and in such a way. So it could be too that, you know, they have a lot of growing to do as a person. So the last card, we have the willow and the two of forces. So I feel like this is just a time for you that, you know, if you're going to reach out, I feel like you can. They're obviously going to be very receptive, um, but like keep it light. I feel like if they reach out to you, again, keep it light. But there's definitely some mental thought here. There's a lot of like thinking about you, you thinking about them, thinking about the past, thinking about old songs, old movies, snacks you used to share together. Like there's just like so much nostalgia, like overload, I feel like with this connection. So right now, I feel like this is all about you kind of like getting to your roots and to the root of all of your own like insecurities and your shadow work and your shadow side and, you know, working on you and what do you really want in this world? What do you really want in a relationship or in a person, you know, and what is like your place of Zen? Where do you go for peace? Where do you, you know, have a place where like you release. I do feel like it's more of a time that you're working on you and they're working on them, if that makes any sense. But it does look like connection or some type of reaching out could happen. Hope this was helpful. Love and light.